All right, new at five, a Denver man says he's lucky to be alive after a terrifying dog attack outside his home, putting him in the hospital. Well, now he is back at home and he's sharing his story and how neighbors have helped him with Denver 7's Christian Lopez. It's a bit of a wake up call too. I mean, you know, that kind of thing can happen anywhere. A Denver neighborhood still shaken up after a vicious dog attack last month. Really hard to hear that that was happening right out front of our house. Um, really terrible to hear that it happened to a really good guy. Um, someone we consider a friend and a neighbor. That friend and neighbor is Will Joseph, who me, says he's know, lucky to be alive. And it still brings tears to my eyes to talk about it. Will says it was a typical morning. He was walking his dog Calvin before work when two pit bulls attacked them. I laid right here and they just mauled me. It, it was the worst thing that ever happened to me. He tells us eventually the dogs were called off of him. And I crawled all the way to my house and I crawled up and lifted myself up. I saw my leg, my hands were just shaking. I, all I saw was blood. A few of his neighbors woke up to the sound of the attack and called 911. He was rushed to the hospital where he had to undergo several surgeries. This was the most painful thing I've ever had in my life. Will says during the attack, he did what he could to save his dog. He's my family. Uh, I raised him from a puppy. They're both now back home and resting, but Will is having to deal with physical therapy, trauma, and reduced income. He says it's been a difficult few weeks, but his neighbors have really stepped up to help. He says they've become more like family, making sure he and his dog are taken care of with food and other necessities. They've also launched a GoFundMe for him because he hasn't been able to work. I didn't know what kind of community I had until I actually needed him. He's made us feel so welcome since we moved here a couple years ago, and he's just been a, a real gem of a neighbor, friendly guy, a good person, and that's part of what makes this so tragic. But that tragedy, he says, has only made the neighborhood stronger. If there's a silver lining, it's that we at least got to know each other a little bit. We've talked or said words, but we never, ever communicated like we have been since the incident. And Will couldn't be more grateful for those who saved him. I don't have words for you. All I can say is I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. You're just glad to hear he's, he's on the way to feeling better and he's getting healthy. Reporting in Denver, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. Helping thy neighbor.